Peace, everybody. Here's another video for all my sneakerheads out there. Today we got the Aziel, the Adidas Yeezy 700 V3 is what they're calling it. So let's jump right into it. So don't waste no time. So this particular pair came from Kixie.com. Shout out to Key Kate. Hit her up. She's got the best UAs on the market right now. This pair was so good, I actually forgot it was a UA. So let's just jump right into it. Here's the box. The box is looking good. I don't have an original pair to compare to these, but to me, these are original. If you don't know what unauthorized authentics are or UAs are, they are typically the shoes that were made from the original factories or hired factories that were never shipped out. And they were bought by other companies out there and they're selling them back to um, buyers like us as unauthorized authentics because they didn't make the cut. Kixie actually makes their shoes with the same materials that the original factories make theirs with, which is dope. So these shoes came out December 23rd. I was not able to get them from Yeezy Supplier or Adidas. They costed $200 by retail. The name of them is the Aziel. That means man of God. It's a pretty dope name. It's a Hebrew name, but it fits for this shoe. So this shoe does not have any boost, and I wish that it did, but it has this RPU cage that actually glows in the dark. Check this out. Yeah, I'm not a, the biggest fan on glow-in-the-dark shoes, but I think this was a nice touch for this particular sneaker. Again, you can grab these at kixie.com for $170. My discount code is in the description below. This little gray piece is a monofilament mesh, which is very breathable, and it's kind of almost transparent. The heel is very durable, hard, but it's soft at the same time. It's kind of tricky. You're pretty much walking on this blue EVA foam. It's not boost, but it's it's pretty close to it. It's not as squishy as like in a like a 380 or a V2. It's kind of more like the 500 level of comfort, which is also great. This is probably my favorite new Yeezy to come out. And I know I just said that about the 380s, but you know, we change our minds all the time. I am not sure what type of gray material this is on the toe box, but it's actually pretty tough. And keep in mind the gluing around that toe box as well. Here's a look at the tag. Again, I don't know how this compares to a quote unquote authentic pair, but here's a look at that. If you have an authentic pair and you're comparing this, drop a comment below. The insole is made of ortholite. Again, this is something that you would see in the Yeezy 500. I like it. I'm glad that they made it kind of colorful, but it's soft, it's supportive at the same time, so you have nothing to worry about. You could probably get away with playing a couple pickup games in there for all my hoopers out there. I wouldn't do it, but they're sturdy enough to probably get away with a few games. So let's get into the on feet section. I can't stress enough how comfortable these sneakers are. I'm actually wearing them right now as I'm editing this video and doing the voiceovers. And I forgot they're on my feet. The material is very interesting because I've been walking around in dirt and rocks as you can see. And they haven't even really got that dirty. It's kind of a unique material that they have on them that's very wipeable, but I haven't even had to wipe them yet. So I got some light colored denim on i'm gonna switch to some black denim here in a second just to give you like a contrast of the two they go both with light pants and dark pants you could probably even get away with wearing like a khaki colored brown um the kind of color way that they are the black and the tannish it, it pretty much goes with everything so you shouldn't have very many styling challenges with these camouflage pants would probably be good with these two i'm not so sure about shorts and i'm in colorado so putting shorts on is not in it's it's too cold right now to do all that i'm not so sure about baggy pants so i didn't try it plus i don't own any baggy pants here's what it looks like to be looking down at your feet for me this aspect has to be right i mean you're always looking down at your shoes so if it doesn't look right looking down at them i'm not going to wear them so please head over to kixie.com and pick you up a pair at this point i'm no longer looking to get a pair off of yeezys or even StockX because they're like 450 bucks right now for resale. And if you don't want to buy them, just go check out Kixie's website. It's a good website. I did a review on them. I'll put the video right here on the left somewhere. But that's all I got, guys. Peace, love, and happiness. Go ahead and pick up a pair of the 700 V3 Ozzy L's. And I'll catch you next time. One.